There's a feeling of dread and a feeling of anxiety that you have at this point, and there's a tendency to want to curtail the uncertainty. Things always get tense at the margins. It's like the physics, the physics of a, a, a liquid changing to a gas. The molecules start to vibrate and they get very agitated and then they change to a gas. Sometimes that unhappiness just means that you're doing something worth doing. Me and two total strangers got on a 36-foot RV, find ourselves. <laughs> We're ready! <laughs> Jackie's from Mexico, Zachariah is from Ohio, I'm from New York. The big mission this summer is to go ask people questions that we are all wondering about. Talking to these inventors, these mathematicians, these doctors, all these people who will give me a different perspective on what we're all thinking about, you know, the, the great big unknown. Everybody says, follow your passion. It's great to follow your passion, but that doesn't mean anything. It's the specifics. How did you talk to these people that were telling you you should do this? How did they respond? How do you bridge that gap between what I want to do and doing it? Which is hard. It's so hard. What were you like at our age, just trying to figure out what you're going to do? What was that conversation like with your family, explaining what your plans were? How do you understand who you are? How did you prepare to take those risks when nothing really felt like it was going to come together? How did you find that drive and passion? What made you fall in love with it? I hear a lot about the word passion. It's a very popular word these days in the United States. I think it's overused. It's been devalued. I think it's like a coin that's been rubbed too much. It's easy to say, find your passion, but people don't appreciate as much the power of serendipity in their lives. I got to where I was by no sort of pre-plotted line, no sort of career-orientated, well-thought-out plan. I was basically riding around on a motorcycle doing odd jobs, and the motorcycle broke down in a place called Roswell, New Mexico, and I had $60 on me, and it wasn't enough to repair it, so I had to stay in this small town and find work, and that just completely took my life in a completely different path. You have to be open to these whys in your road and open to being moved. Now his entire life trajectory has completely changed because of... Yeah, because a chain a broke fluky, on his motorcycle. Yeah, like a fluky little <laughs> thing like that. Like that is unreal. He was open to serendipity. Yeah. Dion said you need to hone in on a skill set so you have that security. Paul was the opposite. Paul said, make yourself broad so that you can connect with anybody. Another incredible perspective that I totally agree with. That's what's getting really cool about this trip is I can define my own perspective. I'm not modeling my road off of other people. I'm figuring out what works for me. On their road trip, I'm hoping to find like not only what they have told me in school, like what else is out there? The whole thing is just outside of my normal. Check this guy out. Come on, cameraman. That was the first time I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm in the desert. Every day is so full of activities and thoughts and people. The 20s, to me, it's about having experiences so that you can know who you are, what you're made of, and what you want to be about. Woo! Look at it! There's still fear, but there's fear and fear management. You have to weigh the rewards. Look what I get for, for giving it a try. And I see Jackie. She goes to the edge. She's, yeah! And I'm all the way in the back. We have to crawl up and crawl up that was the and longest crawl up and ever. inching towards it. Boom! They're gone. They disappear. I'm adding all these concentric circles to my experiences. Definitely feeling like being a part of something real for the first time in my life. Oh my god, like I can actually be somebody. This was a 45 minute conversation and it I'm not even so being dramatic, it audience. changed my entire life. You never know what you're going to come across and what's going to divert your path. Don't feel trapped. Don't ever feel like you're trapped because you're not.